In this video, we will study three color balls combination probability with sampling of three. An urn contains nine blue balls, five red balls, and two green balls. Two balls are picked up at random without returning the balls to the urn. So the question is, what is the number of all possible outcomes or the number of elements in the sample space? So the first thing we do, we number the balls. So we number blue balls from 1 to 9, red balls from 1 to 5, green balls from 1 to 2. Or we can number all of them in a serial manner. The number of elements in the sample space for the case of any order can be computed from the combination formula under the condition of withdrawing without replacement. So here we have number of objects 16 or the number of population and the sampling size is 3. We substitute in the combination formula and we get 560 possible outcome. Question number 2. What are the possible joint outcomes from the standpoint of colored balls? So let B represents drawing blue ball. R represents a drawing red ball and G represents a drawing green ball. So we are starting three diagram with nine blue, five red and two green. In the first draw we may get a blue, red or a green, but the remaining balls would be eight blue, four red and one green. In the second draw we may get a blue, red or a green, and the remaining balls would be 7 blue, 3 red, and no green. In the third draw, we may pick blue or red, but we cannot pick a green because there is zero green in the previous second draw. So there is no green ball to pick up from, and now the remaining balls will be 6 blue and 2 red only. So this green here they must be eliminated. We get all this possible outcome after the third draw, but we have to remember for the third draw the three green balls cannot be taking place, so there is only two green balls. So we have to eliminate the green from here, so it must fade away and disappear. So now these are all the possible joint outcomes. So let us now group the joint outcome. So we group the two blue and one red in one subset, the two blue and one green in another subset, the two red and one blue in another subset, and so on, until we get everything grouped together. So now let's pack each group and turn them around and place them in this order. We name each one and the union of all these subsets will form the sample space. Now each subset or each event is the joint event so their union creates the sample space and now we created partition in the sample space by creating all these subsets. Question number three, in how many ways can we pick three blues? So we are picking three blues out of nine. So this is the first, the second, the third, and now we have a sample of three blue balls. And how many ways we can do that? That is nine combined to three, and this is 84 possible ways. Question number four, in how many ways we can pick one red and two blue balls? So we are picking two blues and one red. And now we get one element composed of two blue and one red. In how many ways we can pick two blue out of nine? That is nine combined two. In how many ways we can pick one red out of five? That is 5 combined 1. But before we continue, let us remember the multiplication principle of two events or sets. 
if event u has u object and event v has v objects then the product u times v or v times u represents the occurrences of both events in any order and this is the case of the multiplication principle where order is not important so there are cases for the multiplication principle where order is important such as this case number one here and number two and number four but for our case we need the case of no order since combination implies no ordered element so we apply case number three for our question so back to our question we can combine two blue and one red using the multiplication principle this is the principle here we multiply the number of ways we can pick two blue by the number of ways we can pick one red and we get 180 question number five in how many ways we can pick one red one blue and one green ball so we are picking one blue one red and one green and now we have a sampled element of three so we can pick one blue in nine combined one way we can pick one red in five combined one way we can pick one green in two combined one way but before we continue we have to remember the multiplication principles for three disjoint set so the principle states that if we have three events event u has u objects event v has v objects and event W has W objects so this product here U times V times W represents the occurrences of event U, V, W in order of U first, V second and W third so all these events may happen in order but we want to pick the case in which order in is not important so the product u times v times w or all any of these products represents the occurrences of the three events in any order so and this is the case where order is not important and this is our case that we need here because we have combination and combination implies no order so we apply the multiplication principle in order to know the number of ways of picking one red one blue and one green so we al we apply this principle here and we get 9 times 5 times 2 and this is equal to 90 so we have 9 ways of picking one blue 5 ways of picking one red and 2 ways of picking one green and the total number of ways of picking three of them together is 90 now going back to the sample space we will place in front of each event the number of ways of occurrences of this event so for three blue we have 84 for one red and one blue we have 180 and we continue doing that until we cover all these events question number six what is the probability of each joint event so here is the sample space with each event and with its corresponding favorable outcome what we need to do is just divide the favorable outcome such as 84 by 560 and we do that for the rest of these events until we cover all the events question number seven finds the probability of picking no red so we do not want to have any red in in the picked sequence so for example we have here three blue and doesn't have any red and this event here two blue and one green and this event here two green and one blue so you do not have any red ball in them so these are the events we want and their union will form the event picking no red so the probability is the sum of their probabilities and that is equal 0.29
we can solve question number seven in a different way so what we did before was dealing with these two subset the blue subset and the green subset as two separate subset and as a result we needed to find the number of ways of picking three blue or the number of ways of picking two blue and one green or the number of ways of picking two green and one blue after that we had to find the number of ways for each event so for picking three blue balls number of ways is nine combined three but for picking two blue and one green the number of ways is nine combined two times two combined one so we we had to pick two out of nine for two blue and one out of two for one green and for this last event picking two green and one blue the number of ways of occurrences for this event is two combined two for the green and nine combined one for the blue but instead of using that lengthy way by dealing with these two subsets separately we can deal with them as one subset so in this case we have to add 9 plus 2 and that is 11 now we have 11 object here combined three times so 9 plus 2 combined three times and this is equal to all the sum here so all the sum of these terms will give us exactly 11 combined 3 so 11 combined 3 is equal 165 and now we can divide 165 over 560 and we get exactly the same answer we got before question number 8 finds the probability of picking exactly one red so it's no more and no less so here are the three disjoint event picking one red and two blue picking one red and one blue and one green or picking two green and one red so the, the probability of this event is the sum of these individual probabilities because they are disjoint events and this is 0.49 question number nine finds the probability of picking at most two reds so we may pick two reds as we see here or we may pick one red as we see in this event here or we may pick no red so all these events form this event at most two reds but instead of adding all of them together what we can do we realize that this event picking three red is a complement of the event at most two reds so what we do now we just subtract this probability of three reds from one so one minus the probability of three red and that is equal to 0.98 question number 10 finds the probability of picking at most one red so we may pick one red as we find in this event each one contain one red or we may pick no reds so this event doesn't have red and this event and this event and now the probability of this event is the sum of all these probabilities or to make it shorter we realize that picking three red and picking two red and one green and picking two red and one blue is a complement of this event so we subtract their probability from 1 and we get 0.78 question 11 finds the probability of picking at least two reds so we may pick up either two reds that we find in this event and this event or we may pick up more and that is three reds so now the probability of this event is equal to point 21 question number 12 finds the probability of picking two red and one blue or two blue and one red so here is the sample space and this is the event of picking two red and one blue 
and this is the event of picking two blue and one red so the probability of this event is the sum of their probability and that is 0.48 thank you for watching and have a nice day